hello friend welcome to our youtube channel structure design hub and this is our etap tutorial series 5 in this tutorial we will learn how to define story data like a story height and number of stories so i uh, will use etap software uh, version 20.2 uh, first of all i will click on file new model and i will select use built-in setting here I will select metric SI. You can change as per your requirement. Uh, I will you I will choose a uh, metric SI because I am going to input my story data in a in a meter, and the rest of the thing I will keep same like steel cores and uh, concrete core. Uh, you can change this thing as per your country requirement. Then click on OK. A new window will pop up. Here you will see uh, some some option like grid dimension, story dimension. I have already prepared a video uh, about on uh, grid dimension how you can define grid data and if you wanted to if you wanted to watch those video I have provided a uh, link in the description below from there you can you can watch those videos so I will in this video I will focus on about a story dimension or story data how, how we can define a story data so in a story dimension option you will see a two option first is simple story data and second is custom story data so uh, when we use simple story and custom story so in a simple story uh, like uh, if you have similar stories if you have similar stories so and you can define all story at once so you can you can use simple story data like uh, it will like uh, it will ask number of stories let's assume i'm going to define uh, six number of stories and typical story height and typical story height i will keep same you can change as per your uh, as per your architecture requirement and as per your floor to floor height and third one is bottom story height as as you know at a uh, ground floor story height is differ from from above floor just because of uh, parking or basement uh, anything so i will keep bottom story 2.5 and click ok here you will see a two window in a first window you will see a plan view and in, in a second window you will see a 3d view in a 3d view you can you can see that our uh, our story has formed uh, you can also uh, you can also see this uh, this uh, uh, height you know ele elevation view so uh, for this click on elevation and it it have by default create these elevation you can click any of them i'm going to click on elevation a apply okay here you can easily here you can easily see that our stories form like story one two three four five six <sighs> so uh this is very easy and quick method uh, now we are going to define custom story data how you can define custom story so for this you can later you can uh, you can also edit uh, edit this story data uh, by just clicking on edit edit story and modify story data from here you can edit so i will click on again new model I, I'm not going to save so just click on no again I will select to use built-in setting I will keep uh, this data is same then click on ok now I will use custom story data and click edit story here you will see a new window uh, will pop up and uh, in this window uh, you are seeing that it is asking for some story data like story height which story is master stories and which story is similar to which stories splice story and, and splice story height and story color uh, so so i am going to i'm going to on this option by step by step so let's assume uh, you are going to uh, design G, G plus 10 story so for this uh, uh, first of all you need to define number of stories so it have uh, by default create four story beyond this you need to add stories 
so for this you can right click on anywhere in this uh, in this pop up window just, just click right and here you will see a option add stories add story and by clicking on this you will get two option keep story keep existing story height and second one is keep existing story elevation so what uh, what does what what does it mean it uh, it mean that uh, if you if you using uh, keep existing story height it means it uh, it will ask you up uh, it will ask you data like floor to floor height only floor to floor floor height and uh, uh, if you use keep existing story elevation it means uh, it ask uh, you uh, overall height let's assume you are going to add a story above fourth floor so it will ask total height from base like uh, here uh, at at story 4 the height is 12 meter and if you go if you going to uh, add a fifth story then uh, and and the height of the fifth story storage uh, uh, also 3 meter then you need to add 12 plus 3 and 15 and it means it means uh, you need to add uh, 15 meter like uh, just i'm um, click on this i'm going to click on this then here it is asking for elevation of add story as as i said i'm going to add fifth story above fourth floor so at uh, fourth floor our uh, height is 12 meter and uh, we are going to make a uh, three meter story height above fourth floor so 12 plus 3 is 15 click ok then you will see that our our fifth story is formed at the height 15 meter so uh, again i will click on add add story now i am going to use keep exist keep existing story height so click on this here you will here this uh, here you will see some option uh, first option is uh, new story data so in new story data it will ask story height let's assume uh, i will i will just keep uh, 2.9 meter height and uh, number of added story as you as you are seeing i have already created at a story fifth five is to i have already created five stories now i'm going to design 10 stories so i need to add five more stories so simply i input five and uh, second option is new story location uh, actually this option ask about ask you about uh, where you want to add a uh, story above fifth floor above third floor above uh, two floors second floor so i am going to add above fifth fifth stories fifth story so i will keep same and replicate new story uh, it means that uh, if you have model any if you have model any story uh, sorry uh, if you have model any geometry on any story uh, so you can and you want to that uh, and you want to that uh, uh, you want to copy that story on newly added story so you just simply select select the story where you model model your geometry so I will keep five uh, uh, here I will keep same like a story five and click on ok and uh, now here you are seeing that our story is formed up to the 10th stories so here in a story column you can change your story name like uh, uh, like i'm going to change it to l1 sorry l1 one l2 l3 l4 similarly you can change as per your requirement and in a second column it will ask for height uh, you can if you later if you wanted to change your floor to floor height then here you can simply change just like i'm going to change at level 3 4 meter in elevation it uh, at least in this option in this uh, column you don't need to change any anything it, it automatically calculate from your st story elevation automatically create from your story height and 
फोर्थ कॉलम इज मास्टर स्टोरी फर्स्ट ऑफ मीन्स वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ मास्टर स्टोरी मास्टर स्टोरी मीन्स लेट्स अज्यूम फ्रॉम द फ्लोर फिफ्थ टू टेंथ फ्लोर इज टिपिकल फ्लोर सो इन दिस के फिफ्थ फ्लोर इज अवर मास्टर स्टोरी सो हेयर इन इन अ फिफ्थ फ्लोर से मास्टर स्टोरी कॉलम I will keep for as a yes, and rest of the cell I will change it to no. And and our fifth column is similar to. Basically, it is asking for which floor is similar to which story. So in uh, in our case, uh, above the floor fifth is is similar to fifth floor. So here I will change it to story fifth. Fifth and fifth and fifth, fifth. So now I am going to show you how this uh, these two options these two options are very important to us during the time of modeling. So for this I have a I have a E tab model in which I have already defined. uh it store in which i have already defined story data as and and more model the geometries so in a story data you can see that uh, our eighth story is master story and above above the floor eight sim which is similar to our master stories as you can see here so question is that how it is useful in a modeling so let's go on plan click okay click okay so at the time we are at ninth floor so go below now it is eighth floor so if you think that uh, you wanted to add any beam or you wanted to delete any slab and you you think that uh, that change will replicate to the all typical floor which have which we have defined in in story data so what we will do uh, we will just simply click we will just simply uh, go to the right corner of your e tab bo at the bottom corner bottom right corner of your e tab and here you will click you will check these option here you can see the first option is one story second option is all story and third option is similar story so we will keep similar stories so now if you wanted to add a beam like i am going to add i am going to adding this beam uh, from here to here from here to here from here to here so now you will see that these 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 beam are replicated to the all above floor like this you can see i'm i'm going to above floor and it is it is here if you wanted to delete delete the floor then you can see that at all floor the that that floor become deleted and if you wanted to similar if you wanted to add column then you can add at a typical floor so so like this you can use the option similar master story and and similar story data so now again we will go on other column like uh, splice story and splice height first of all what is the meaning of splice splice is nothing it is but it is a connection between two steel columns by using steel plates and bolts so uh, always uh, splicing occur at uh, at some height up above the uh, above any floor so here you need to define that at which floor you wanted you wanted to make splice connection so so just i consider at uh, level 7 so here i will keep yes and in a second column splice height it is asking for height at which height you wanted to at, at which height uh, from the floor level you wanted to make connection so let's consider our floor height is 2.9 and up and above 1 meter i want to make connection so here i will keep 1 
and ok and ok so how how that option work so let's assume i modeled a column a steel column here i considered islb 600 and here i keep all story and i click at this location in a 3d you will see that our column have been assigned so so question is that uh, how how that splice of how that splice option work so click on set display option and uh, click on object assignment and in a frame assignment uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. here is the option column splice just click on column splice and click apply and click ok now in a 3d you can now you can see a horizontal line horizontal line at the at floor 7 at floor 7 above some height so like so like this you can use splice story and splice height height options so now our last column is edit uh, modify story color so how you can use uh, these the these how you can use this understanding this how this option works so now again I am opening our a time model so uh, in edit in edit story and modify here you will see that I have given similar color to the uh, to the typical floor like 8 floor above the floor 8 is similar so here I change I keep 8 floor with the yellow color and typical floor also with a sign yellow color like this so here here you can see that from B2 to GL floor is typical so here I keep green color so click OK OK so just click on set display option and view by color here you can select story apply OK now here you can see that our geometry have been formed in a color if you wanted to see in 3d now you can clearly clearly see that our typical floor have typical color if you wanted to see in elevation form so just go to any plan go to the any plan select the option draw draw elevation click here you can change the name I am keeping same click OK and I am going to draw elevation from at this point to this point and right click here you can clearly see our story height and our typical story color so now my tutorial is over and if you found my video is helpful for you then please like subscribe and share my video so that it will motivate me to make more knowledgeable video thank you